guys, I'm Jay and welcome to Trinity. Well, another grass type event is coming soon so that we will need to prepare a fire deck. So on the previous event, Lapras that yes, we were highly dependent on the electric deck, especially on Pikachu and yes, this time we will need a fire deck. So assume that if you all wanted to build a Charizard deck, you all can refer to my previous Charizard video so that you all can build an optimal Charizard deck. So let's say if you're not able to get your hands on Charizard, then yes, you will need to seek for alternative. And then I would really highly recommend that yes, this might not be the best, but at least that it is like slightly budget but still a very decent deck. Yes, I'm going to introduce you all is the legendary dog. Arcanine. Okay, Arcanine itself actually that is it's two level is one stage evolutions. So basically it's much more lower than Charizard, but yes, Charizard able to deal with 200 damage, so it is quite powerful. Whereas Arcanine itself it is 120, but you will get hit with 20 damage. Basically, it's like the takedown but with fire. Okay, it's a fire takedown basically. Okay, so this actually is quite good, especially that it can deal 120 damage. So basically, this is how the deck looks like, and still, you will need Moltres. I will tell you that no matter how, Moltres is a staple for fire deck, so you will need to have Moltres. If you don't have Moltres, then it's a little bit slow and not so good and also optimal. So really recommend you all. If you're not able to hunt down Charizard, so at least that you will need to have Moltres EX. Right? Moltres EX is super important. Why again same because of the Inferno Dance. The Inferno Dance can charge up your bench fire Pokemon. So basically it speeds up everything a lot. One turn maybe we're able to charge up three energy, which is a lot. Okay, if you're able to charge up with three energy, basically means that your Arcade Knight able to come down in the next turn. So it's practically super fast. Okay, and then what trainer cards you can use? Basically, it's the same. You will go for Giovanni, uh, Sabrina, Professor Oak, Pokeball, Potions, and X Speed. So basically, other it's the same then i put in Volpix why yes it is an alternative and it able to help you to store while tail whip itself will prevent opponents from attacking and then uh night tails actually is quite good where you can discard what and hit with 90 damage actually it's quite high so i will put it i will quite recommend that you put a night tails as well as a backup plan in case that your uh arcanai do not want to come out okay maybe a brick okay so basically this is how the deck structures look like and then let's hop into the battle and let's see how it goes so let's go okay so let's start out with the battle okay so let's see okay start off with turn two yes seriously turn two is much more better okay so good hand i already got the grounded and the arcanai so i go on with the Vulpix first and then set up good thing is i already have arcanine uh, storm first yes i start up with a pre pretty good start up compared to the opponents okay so let's see what, what he going to do okay going on with the meow okay he's going for the draw and let's see if he has pokeball or professor research or anything yes he got a pokeball okay so let's see that what he gets Okay, he get another Snom and uh, Fossil. Okay, so let's go with the Misty. So, uh, hit or tail? Tail, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate. So, no attack from him. So, good. There goes another Pokeball. So, I can use Pokeball to get a basic. And can use Professor Search to draw two. Okay, so let's go for the grid. So yes, second Arcanine and another Pokeball. Yes, go on with another Pokeball. And I'll get the Moltres. Good, good, good. 
So go on with the Moltres. Okay, draw it. Go on with the Bullpix and let's go Tail Whip. Hit or Tail. If hit, opponents cannot attack. So basically I stop. Yes, thank you. So it cannot attack the next turn. Previously I get hit before where I flip 5. If flip 5 times, I basically get stalled for 5 turns cannot attack. Quite ridiculous man. Okay, so it does not have enough energy, so go with the Arcanine. So, charge up with the Moltres and I will switch down the Polpix. So in this scenario, if I have the Ninetales, I will just attach the energy and attack with the ninety. Basically, I just take out the Moltres. So yes, I evolve into two of my Arcanine. So basically, if you can evolve, just evolve. If not, sometimes they will use the red card and then you will end up break. Okay, so let's see that how many hits I'll be getting. One, two, good means that the next turn my Arcanine will be fully charged. Good thing. Okay, good. So from the opponent's setup wise, you can see that basically they cannot do anything at all. It, uh, the, the best they can go is cross mode, nothing else. Okay, so now I'm asleep and let's flip. Hey, yes, I'm awake. Thank you. RNG, the best. Okay, so now Professor Research, draw two. I got the XP, so I get to save my energy. And then, yes, go for the Arcanine. And then I use the XP to switch down my Moltres EX for free. Go for the Arcanine. Then, let's go. Inferno on Rush. So, basically, that takes out the Frost Moss, and then I get hit with the DHP. Okay, one point. And then let's see, is he going for the Melf or is he going for the Frost Moth? Okay, yes, he's going for the Frost Moth. So, this one is slightly a budget version of Charizard. So, if you really cannot get Charizard and you have Arcanine, then best is to go for Arcanine. And you don't really need to play two Arcanine. So, you can play with Nine Tails in replace on one Arcanine if you don't have it. So it's still okay. So now Sabrina. I got the Sabrina. Basically I can use it to switch out with that, but no need. I just take up Snom. If we able to evolve into the Frost Morph, then I will be more troublesome. Okay, so now take down, settle. I still left with 80 HP basically. So let's see that what he's going to do. Okay, the best that he can go is go for the Meowth currently because I think that he basically is quick. Okay, so now Okay, it evolved the Aerodactyl Okay, it's basically it's quite late over here already So, um I'll be switching So, I switch on my Wupix So, it equipped with the Aerodactyl So, it's still okay Basically, I just retreat my Volpix and then use the Sabrina to take up the Aerodactyl and Inferno on Rush then I win. Okay, so I force the Aerodactyl into the active spot, active zone. So I retreat and take back my Arcanine and then Inferno on Rush with a 110 D. So basically it is a win. Bad. Set the so basically, this is Arcanine deck, okay? Simple, fast, and brutal. Okay, it's basically, you just a stage 1 Pokemon, and then you can deal with 120 attack. It's quite high. So if you don't have Charizard, then this is one of the way for you to prepare for the next Venue Saw event. So basically, that's it. And if you guys love this video, remember to give a thumbs up like share and subscribe and then comment if you feel that there is any can improve on this deck and i was basically see you guys in the next video so bye bye thank you everyone